Hi, Jackie here with the ALS Association Evergreen Chapter. Today I will be discussing just one of the many call alert and call chime methods. These devices that I have here today are used when someone needs a reliable and quick alert method to a caregiver that's in the close vicinity. I'm talking if the caregiver or vice versa is away, maybe using the bathroom or upstairs or depending on the frequency range outside. So all of these call chimes that I have here use radio frequency and the components are basically the same. They all have a transceiver that when pressed activates the receiver either by the sound that you just heard or by vibration and some even have a light that um, sends an alert as well. So when I'm shopping for call chimes, I normally just go on Amazon and I type a search for call chime or call alerts and I get a ton of options. When I'm looking through the different devices and I'm looking for certain specs for the chime, um, I like to know whether I can mount it on a wall or if the caregiver might be wearing it. Some of them have actual belt clips that can, they can wear during the day. Um, and also what type of alert is it sending out? Is it sending out a audible alarm? Is it vibrating um, or is it a light? And secondly, when I'm looking at the transceivers itself, uh, then just for, just for my clients, I really focus on how hard is it or easy is it to press the button. Um, I look at the accessibility can, sometimes these can be Velcro to a wheelchair arm, or you, as you can see, there's lots of uh, lanyard options to make it easy to grab. On a final note, if some of these transceivers do become hard to press, you do have another option. There is some assistive technology companies that make something called switch adapted call chimes that you can connect to multiple types of switches so instead of pressing the button you can press something else to activate the alert system and we will be actually talking about switches in our next episode when the button is pressed then the alert sounds these don't have batteries they vibrate Like I said at the beginning, this is only one option for calling for assistance. If you want to watch more videos about this topic, please let me know. Thanks for watching and have a great day.